Hello guys, hope you're doing well as always and welcome back to another video. Today is probably the biggest game that I've been to all season. It is Manchester City at home to Chelsea. Chelsea have been in terrible form recently compared to Manchester City who are making a push for Arsenal in the Premier League title race. It's going to be a change of pace though with an FA Cup fixture putting these two teams together and I'm quietly confident that Chelsea can end their torrid form and get a decent result today. But let's just get straight up there and I'll see you when we're in Manchester. Batman yesterday inspired a great win for Burnley. Can he do the same today? The atmosphere is hotting up as you've already seen. It's set to be a great fixture. Let's get some score predictions from the guys and get into the stadium. <laughs> in the Man City end by the way. They are calling other teams as we speak. Just before kickoff, my prediction is 2-1 Chelsea. I'm feeling timidly confident, but we'll have to wait and see. Both teams have got rotated sides, so we'll see what happens. But come on, let's hope for a good game. Hope for a Chelsea win. Right, Stephanie, what is your score prediction? 2-1 uh, City. Vicky, who by the way, first game, first game. 2-1 Chelsea. 8-0 Chelsea. Wishful thinking. Chelsea fans up at all in full force today. Out come the two teams at the beginning of a giant clash. Humphreys, one of the many young players Chelsea filled in today. Hopefully he has a good performance. And Palmer, the danger man for Man City. Atmosphere is hot and up ahead of kickoff. We are on the way. Good chance for City. Left right for free kick. That was another good chance for City. Can't help but feel like Potter needs a result today. Good chance for City. Oh, Palmer's got a chance. Best chance of the game so far, missed by Palmer. And it's a Man City corner. They've dominated the first 20 minutes so far. Can they get a goal? Oh. in a very, very good position. Morris to take. And it's 1-0 to Manchester City. Chelsea fans are silent. And it's the Etihad set into back two. Man City take the lead in the first half. They all go over to Pep Guardiola to celebrate. They are checking for a possible handle. There could be more misery for Chelsea. He's checking the monitor. Yeah! And he's given a penalty. Julian Alvarez is stepping up to take it. Kepa trying to score him off. Doing everything he can. Julian Alvarez, World Cup winner. Chelsea fans. Yeah. Don't box, don't box. Out to me. Oh. 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 Oh.
Good save from Elisa Belaga. The referee's given another free kick in a very good position, arguably a better position than before. Are we about to see another goal? Is Mahrez. Calmed oh. over by Kepa. Probably a more preferable angle for Kepa. Still had to make the save. He tips over the bar well. Pep Guardiola is an absolute dreamland at the moment. But Graham Potter has got so much work to do with his Chelsea side. Two minutes. Lackluster performance from Chelsea. Silky, fantastic football from Manchester City. It's pretty much what we expected. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's half time at the end of the half. Chelsea have been absolutely torn apart by Manchester City in that first half. 3 0 going into the half time break. Absolutely embarrassing. I honestly do not see any way for Chelsea to get back into this game. If we get an early goal and we start the half well, then we've got a chance. But it's not looking likely. Man City have absolutely killed it this half. And I think that's already the game put to bed. I say, bring on Fafana. There's nothing to lose at this stage. Fafana's been brought on at half time for his debut. I said it. Nothing to lose. Cancelo and Calvin Phillips coming on. He's not had a hurry. Oh, oh, that was a very rough challenge. I would expect to see a card here. It is yellow for Gallagher. <laughs> As Piliquetti's coming on for Jorginho. Presumably we're going to a five back. Ziyech coming off for Amari Hutchinson. Chelsea free kick is taken quickly. It's As Piliquetti into Hutchinson. Sums up Chelsea's night. It's not been the most exciting of second halves, but that is one of the chances to add to the shortlist. Mason Mount is coming off. Chelsea have a rare break here as Piliquetti slows the move down. Just about keeps the ball alive. It's Hutchinson. That's poor from Chelsea, poor from Hutchinson. Fafana was waiting in the middle, a more cultured forward, and not the option that Chelsea chose. Another break down that right hand side. It's deflected over for another corner. Gallagher to take. Of empty Chelsea seats as many of the fans decide to go home. Who can blame them? Their team have been absolutely terrible today. Riyad Mahrez. <laughs> Makes it for long day for Chelsea fans. <laughs> More Chelsea fans pile down the tunnel. Great teams for the Man City fans behind the goal. Riyad Mahrez, deserved man of the match. That's full time. Chelsea humiliated at the Etihad. Credit to the Chelsea fans who have stayed. It's hard to do when your team plays as bad as they have. But it's Manchester City's day today and their fans deserve the success they've had. They've been brilliant throughout. I know City players have done them justice. Shameful performance for most of those Chelsea players today. Graham Potter has got a lot to think about going forward. Kepa had a decent game. There was only so much he could do against the shots he faced. And I feel like the blame does not lie with him tonight. And that does bring to an end another vlog. It was shameful from Chelsea today. They were 
absolutely shocking in classic Man City football. Silky, great passing going forward. Chelsea at the back just couldn't cope. We've been terrible recently. And going forward, no movement, no creativity. And that's a price you pay against the best team in the world. Hall for Chelsea was brilliant. He's probably our only decent player along with Kepa Rizabalaga. Going on for Manchester City, we have Morris as a man who stole the show. But Phil Foden as well played brilliantly. No need for Haaland, no need for Edison, no need for Grealish. Man City seen that they put out tonight were enough to beat Chelsea convincingly. And that does unfortunately bring to an end another vlog. And it's going to be a long ride home for me editing this and watching it all again. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Please subscribe if you are new. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Peace and love.